Pendleton. house 
property and we didn't didn't want to invest in a house and a well and all those things when we it really wasn't all our property. So um, connecting the White House to the deck that Monty built can levered out into the canyon is a stone walk that we built out of flat rocks that we went all over the property and found. And when we find a great big flat one and have to kind of dig it up, we call it a crown jewel. <laughs> and we brought these rocks and, and uh, made this wall. And we, um, uh, there's no electricity, no running water. And I love the arrangement because I wasn't indoors taking care of a house with beds and, and, uh, and dealing with plumbing and such. And yes, about plumbing. Well, Monty hauled out a, a porter can, cut the bottom out of it, dug a hole, and we were in business. So, like <laughs> <laughs> so to speak. And we had various batches of kids to camp. One time I got a sleeping bag. We had drawers and shelves in, in to finish out the White House. And I pulled a sleeping bag in the dark for my niece. And the next morning, I pulled out a folded up float. And in the folds of the float were a jillion fire ants. Oh. Now, just picture if, that, if those ants had been in that sleeping bag Ooh. that she settled in. <laughs> so we. Let's see, what else I want to tell you? That. Oh, sleeping under the stars. Sleeping under the stars with the creek down below, babbling. And, and uh, one time the moon was so bright that Monty disappeared and came back with an umbrella so we could sleep. <laughs> <laughs> and you asked, where did we sleep when it rained? We slept in the White House. <laughs> Our bed just fit. Oh, we slept on a. Oh, I forgot to tell you, we slept on a. Um, the the deck was a picnic table, and the picnic table would drop down level with the benches, and we put our blow up bed on the table, and then made it up just like a, a bed. And so, um, but we move our our blow up bed when it when the storm came. We just move our bed and everything into the White House and and settle down. And I want to tell you about how this gorgeous spot that we had came to be. It was totally, totally wooded with huge cedar trees. And Monty ran, ran the chainsaw, and I got a lot of exercise dragging and burning. I'm a, a one-match fire builder. <laughs> and so now we've We've handed the place off to some relatives of the major owner because we have too much going on here to go out there and do that right now. So I want to challenge you, Daybreakers. Is there something you'd rather be doing than watching TV <laughs> at night and on the weekend? Would you really like to go do something kind of dumb and and follow your passion, maybe have people say, that's really strange for you to be doing that. Well, just go do it. And I'd like for you to tune in later. I'll tell you about one 